Today we're going to be checking out making some really fun layers on the super big gel press plate. Okay, so I am going to play around on my giant gel plate, but I think this might be fun. So I'm just gonna, I wanna get, there's nothing on this stencil, <laughs> right? It's huge, it's a gel, or excuse me, on this gel plate. So the very first thing I wanna do is sort of condition it by getting something on it. Um, I'm just rolling some acrylic paint I had from the uh, circle gel plate video. And this isn't going to be anything. This is just to try to get a little bit of something, something on this plate. They, do, they work better once they've been used a bit. So that's why I didn't want to. Um, this isn't a how-to video. This is a craft with me video, right? Or an art with me. And somewhere around here, I pulled out a giant piece. Oh, I know where it is. A giant piece of paper. And we're just going to take this off. All right. So now we just have... I like that. Okay. So, I got out all my giant stencils. So I'm going to do all kinds of stuff, and let's see what happens. Okay. Where's my... This is kind of my palette roller thingy. All right, let's pick some colors. So, <laughs> I'm gonna use three Dick Blick colors. So I have bright aqua green, I have cadmium yellow deep hue, and I have primary red. And I'm going to go light to dark. So I'm going to start with blue. Okay. And this is a big open stencil, so it should, we should be able to get a fair amount of paint on here. But I want every single one of these layers to be super, super thin, because I don't want to be waiting all day for paint to dry in Florida. I will give it a wee minute, but we're not waiting forever. All right, while we're waiting for this, we're going to go and do kind of a blue edgy edge. Because so I have this blue on here, and I can't have blue on there. I need to have... Doing yellow next. Right? Right. So next we're going to do yellow. Love this stencil. Yeah. 
And I'm just putting yellow where I don't have blue. I'm going to take a tiny bit of this paint off. I'm not even hardly pushing. But I don't want to have to wait for it to dry. Look how much of that came off. Okay. Do we want a little bit more yellow? I do. I'm going to do this. I'm going to put yellow up here. I'm going to try this new stencil. So where there's kind of open areas, I'm going to put the little stencil -y thing in. Oh, that's just taking it back off. We don't have enough yellow up there. There we go. And this is a Carabel Rons. They're French. The Franch. So we know that that was kind of drying, right? Because we were getting it pulling back off, which is good. That's good for me. All right, I like numbers. So I'm gonna make this last dish layer numbers. Don't do it. Don't fall off the edge. Oh, I got Uggs. Oh no, it's just paint. Now I got Uggs on me. Do some more of my rons through here. Now I do have to wait for it to dry. Gonna do a whole white layer, super thin across the back. Probably need a little bit more paint for this. I'm used to using my teeny tiny ones. definitely don't want this white paint to be too thick or it doesn't um, kind of activate the underneath stuff. Okay. And I just had my guest crafter make me this acrylic block and we're going to do it this way rather than the other way so i can see where i'm putting this down and i'm going to press all over this I knew when I saw this giant um, gel plate that I was not going to be one of those people that could manage doing it kind of flopping around everywhere. I like that I can turn this over. Now this looks perfect, right? Our, our numbers look perfect and everything. Um, we can even... We can do this, turn this over, 
And this is uh, mixed media paper, so this is kind of heavy paper. All right, so we're gonna we're gonna try this. Now the thing, the other thing I like about it is I can see if it's getting stuff to pull up. All right, we're getting most of it. We're not getting it in there. So let's push down in there. We may need to, let's do this. Really get it pushed down. over all right that's what we're gonna do so here we go that's how much we had left Wow. This is going to be a fun background. I love this. It has cool colors. It has cool dimensions. I knew I would like the giant one. All right. So that was trying out my giant gel press for the first time. Okay. So I showed um, this to my guest crafter, who is Johnny J, and he was not as impressed as I am. But I have to say that I love the amount of different areas and textures and colors you can make with the giant gel press. Now I may use this as a whole background or I may use it in pieces, but overall it turned out really cool. And I did a couple more that I didn't have you on for. I thought this one turned out really well, but I love this one. I'm going to be using it for one of my bee, one of my bee things. So hopefully that helps Tara Jacobson, Artsy Fartsy Life.